Hey there, community, and welcome to the Providence Podcast. I'm Sister Leslie, and I'm so glad you're here. At Godspace, we have all kinds of ways to stay connected to other people and also to God. So visit godspacecommunity.com and sign up for our newsletter. We hope you also stay connected with the Sisters of Divine Providence as well. And now let's get started with our reflection for this fourth Sunday of Advent. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. Have you ever asked God to give you a sign? Well, I can say that I do that on occasion. Sometimes God obliges and gives me a sign, and sometimes I continue to walk on through uncertainty, but I don't see anything wrong with asking. Apparently, though, the guy in our first reading feels differently. God specifically invites King Ahaz to ask for a sign, but he's squeamish about doing it. Maybe it seems too much like testing God, or maybe he's afraid of being disappointed. In any case, he won't ask, and so, to paraphrase, God says, Fine, be that way, but I'm giving you a sign anyway, and it will be a young pregnant woman who will bear a son and name him Emmanuel. God is with us. For Ahaz, who's in the midst of a scary political conflict, This sign is meant to reassure him of peaceful times to come. For us, New Testament writers use this promise as a confirmation of Christ's coming, a sign that God is indeed with us. When I ask for a sign, it's usually much the same. I'm looking for reassurance that God is with me. Sometimes I'm seeking confirmation about something specific. What should I do? Am I moving in the right direction? What are you calling me to, God? At other times, I just need to know that I'm not alone. Either way, the sign that God gives me is usually simply a sense of God's own presence. And for me, God's presence tends to feel like peace or joy, or excitement, or connection. There are occasions when a sign might feel like uneasiness or distress, but feelings of fear or anxiety are not usually from God. So when I feel those instead of peaceful confirmation, well, that tells me something, right? That tells me that whatever this is might not be God's call for me. Or I'm not done discerning yet, and I need to keep looking. Or something else is going on in me that I really need to attend to. Sometimes a sign from God is not just a feeling, but something more concrete. God has never sent me an angel, thank God, or a prophet per se, except maybe for people in my own life who serve in that messenger role, who sometimes say wise things to me that help me to notice God's presence. And there are other subtle things that can show me that God is there. Like details of something I've been working on will all fall into place. And then I know that it's not my work, but God's. 
A person will text or show up just when I need them, and that tells me that God is near. A song will come on that tells me exactly what I need to hear in a given moment. Now, <laughs> please don't hear me say that God talks to me through the radio or Spotify. And really, maybe it's the song, but more than likely, it's my own reaction to it that helps me know that God is present. It's my noticing. My noticing shows me God's presence and tells me a little about myself, like what I want or need or feel or seek. What about you? How do you know when God is giving you a sign? When you sense God's presence, what does it feel like? Let's go back to the sign that God gives King Ahaz. It's a pretty concrete sign, one that clearly demonstrates God's love and presence. As we know, it's not just a sign for Ahaz. God gives us the same sign in Mary and the infant Jesus. The birth of the vulnerable, needy Christ child is the most profound, important sign that God has given humanity, in addition, of course, to raising him from the dead. We are vulnerable and needy too, and God is with us as we are. That speaks volumes about God's desire for us about God's tremendous love for us. God became finite and shows us infinite love. God became needy and shows us God's providence. God became poor and shows us abundance. The mystery and paradox of this sign shows us that its meaning continues to deepen all through time. The birth of Christ is not just a moment in history, but a sign that reveals God's love then and now and always. So during this fourth week of Advent, let's look for God's presence. It's okay to ask for a sign. And even if we don't ask, God might just give us one anyway. I hope we continue to allow the sign of this mother and child to speak to us, renew us, and draw us near to God. Amen. So let's continue our reflection together. How do you know when God is giving you a sign? What does God's presence feel like to you? What does a confirmation, a yes, a green light from God feel like? about when you're moving away from God and God's call for you? How do you know? What does that feel like?
let's just spend a little quiet time with God and see what God wants to tell us. Thanks for listening to the Providence Podcast. I hope you continue to connect with God's space and, of course, the Sisters of Divine Providence of Kentucky. As you enter this week, may you notice all the ways that God cares for you. And may we all take good care of each other. Peace.